The CWB Welding Foundation has just been awarded $6.6 million from the federal government. The foundation is under the Canadian Welding Association or CWB Group umbrella that offers a variety of services for the welding and joining industry. President and CEO of the CWB Group, Douglas Luciani, says through partnerships with the foundation and the International Brotherhood of Boiler Makers, this funding will help them develop more pressure welders in Canada. The reason we're doing that is because unfortunately the trades and the welding trade is no different. There's, a, there's a not enough qualified welders in this country and that's the same for pressure welders. People that weld pressure uh, piping as an example, there's just not enough of them and that's largely because people are retiring, there's not enough people coming into the into the industry. So in order to develop more pressure welders, Luciani says the funding will enhance the programs they already offer. The training that we have, the CWB group, is something that we offer around the world but it's definitely used substantially across Canada. So today that training is used in about 85% of the high schools that do welding. It's uh, over 55% of the colleges and it's got some really cool attributes to it. It's got 3D modeling, um, augmented reality, simulation, and so it allows people when they're doing the welder training, the theory part of it, to do it anywhere. Now another important benefit of this funding is the ability to continue targeting underrepresented groups. So women, um, they, they don't make up anywhere near the same population that we have in, in Canada in the welding industry, um, but they're great at it and when we, ex we show them what welding has to offer, they love it. They love what they can do with their hands and then how that in itself can create a career and offer help to them and their families. Um, we focus a lot on the Indigenous communities. Lots of young people that are looking for viable careers, so we go into the Indigenous communities, we put camps on for Indigenous individuals as well as women, young people to, again, um, expose them to the welding industries. With the CWB group working in almost 50 countries around the world, Luciani says he has certainly seen a lot of growth and evolution in the welding industry. It's changing dramatically. So with technologies like Industry 4.0, you're seeing more automation, more collaborative robots, more 3D printing. So that technology is really um, coming into the welding and joining industry in droves. So that's what's changing, not just in Canada, but our country, as I said, works in around 50 countries around the world. And I, have a, I had, at least before COVID, I had the unique opportunity to be traveling around the world to see what's going on in the welding industry. And that is probably the biggest change I see is the fact that technology is, is coming into our industry in such a great way, helping the industry get better, but also attracting more people because it has so much technology now that is, is partnered with the traditional hands-on skills. And so I'm just really excited to see how that continued evolution is going to help the welding and joining industry in Canada. The CWB Group's global office is based in Milton, Ontario. For more details on the association or the CWB Welding Foundation, go to cwbgroup.org. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.